sadly all things are not created equal. This and this to the average person may look very similar, but they are worlds apart. Hi guys, it's Simon from Tech My Life Video and I'm back with a video here on replacing the hard drive in your PlayStation 3. Now, all PlayStations come with a hard drive of varying capacities, um, but they are all these hard drives, which is a 2.5 inch hard drive, like what you'd find in a laptop. Um, mine came with an 80 gig hard drive, which is virtually useless when it comes to using Play TV, because if you've installed a few demos of games, you've pretty much used up a lot of the space and recording TV takes up a lot of room. So this hard drive is next to useless. So I've gone out and got this hard drive, which as you can see is the same size. However, the capacity is 500 gig rather than 80 gig. Now, PlayStation, I spoke to PlayStation and they only currently recommend up to 500 gig. I have read of people using up to a terabyte. Um, terabyte hard drives uh, in this capacity um, are a lot more expensive uh, and a little bit harder to come by. Um, 500 gigs these days is pretty easy to come by and this only cost $64. So um, it makes me wonder, $64 retail, that's not a special price, you can get that price tomorrow. It makes me wonder why PlayStation have been so tight in only putting small hard drives um, in their PlayStations when they could have just whacked in a 500 um, and really, really slapped um, other consoles in the face. So let's have a look at the process of replacing this with this and see how we get on. So what are you going to need to do a hard drive replacement? Well, if you're going to replace a hard drive in a PlayStation 3, you're going to need to start with a PlayStation 3. Uh, this one here showing the beautiful reflections of everything that's in the background. Um, this is the old style PlayStation, 80 gig. Um, it's not the new slim version. We have a backup hard drive, uh, which we can back up using the backup utility, um, the data that's on um, our PlayStation. Uh, we need a replacement drive. It's a 2.5 inch, uh, similar to what you have in a laptop. Similar, same as what you have in a laptop. And we have a Phillips head and a flat screwdriver. Now before you get to pulling a hard drive out and putting the new one in, you are going to need to run the backup utility. So we'll have a look at that now. So to back up your PlayStation 3, you'll need to go to the settings menu, go to system settings, and then go to backup utility. Uh, select backup. Now it's going to let you know that it's uh, to back up the trophies, you're going to need to go to the games menu. Um, so that's worth noting. Um, if you don't have a PlayStation account um, for a user, you're not going to be able to sync their trophies um, with the server, so you're not going to be able to back up uh, those trophies. So if you've got children in the house who don't have their own PlayStation account, then unfortunately you're going to lose their saved games. You may, however, be able to save them into your profile, depending on which game it is. Click Backup. It's going to ask you if you want to back it up onto a hard drive. It is going to give you then the opportunity to select that hard drive. Once you select that hard drive, it will uh, start backing up. Um, it will take some time, so not the kind of thing you want to do when your mates are about to head over for a big gaming session, because uh, depending on how much data you've got to back up, uh, it could take quite some time. The other thing you'll need to make this process possible is the latest system software from the PlayStation website. So head on over to the address on your screen um, and download the system update. Now you're going to need to create a place to, a folder on your uh, hard drive called PS3 and inside that folder a another folder called update. Now it's all in capital letters. If you're using the same hard drive that you have backed up onto, uh, the PS3 folder will already exist and you'll just need to create the update folder within that PS3 folder. Then simply place the file you downloaded in the updates folder and that file will be used for formatting the new hard drive once it's installed. So basically we've got the PlayStation here up on its end. Now the end you're going to be working at has a little panel. Uh, the other end has a large vent, so it's going to be fairly, fairly obvious which end you're working on. If uh, you can't work that out, I suggest you go no further. 
So what you're going to be doing is actually just levering this little panel off. It should just pop loose. Take that out of the way. And now you're going to need the Phillips head screwdriver and there's a little blue screw here. So we're just going to unscrew that one. Put it to the side. Now make sure you don't, <laughs> don't lose that during this process. Now I've got it up on, it up on its end, but you should just be able to grab the little lever here or the little handle and just pull gently and the hard drive should slide out just like that. So there you go. So let's move the PlayStation out of the way. So here we have the cradle with the four little screws in the corner. So what we need to do is undo the screws in the corner. Now you may just see that I've put a little little bat handle thing here on my screwdriver just to loosen these screws slightly. Now we'll take them out the rest of the way. And there we have the hard drive detached from the cradle. So what we have here is the original hard drive. It is a Toshiba and it is a um, it is of course an 80 gig uh, hard drive and we're replacing it with a Seagate 500 gig hard drive. So what you need to do is make sure you pop it into the cradle the right way around. Obviously it's going to slide down to the machine like that so the plugs need to be on this end and it'll be the, uh, the sticker up. And now we'll put the screws back in. So here we have the new hard drive in the cradle. Let's bring the PlayStation 3 back in. So bringing back in the PS3 and basically what we need to do is just drop the drive down into the slot, lock it in place, replace the little blue headed screw that holds it in place like so and uh, replace the panel. So there you go. Now all we need to do is plug it in, power it up, plug in our backed up backup hard drive and we can restore um, the data from there. So when you turn your PlayStation on it is going to let you know that you need to format the hard drive. So you need to go ahead and do that. Um, you obviously have the system update for that. And then you are going to be, after the PlayStation relaunches, you are going to be able to restore from your backup. Uh, you're going to do the same thing you did last time going into the system settings, going into backup utility, and this time hitting restore. Select the restore from your backup. Uh, if you have more than one backup, they, they do have a date and a time from which uh, the backup occurred. Uh, click yes to restore from that backup, and uh, you'll be all set to go. So that's replacing the hard drive on your PS3. If you're using a hard drive with Play TV, I definitely suggest you upgrade the internal hard drive to at least 500 gig to give you that space for recording all your TV shows. You can only record to the internal hard drive with Play TV and it is very frustrating when you run out of room and miss your favourite TV show. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. Please rate and subscribe below. Please subscribe to the channel. I am Simon from Techno Life Video and we'll see you next time. Bye. Now, PlayStation slip ship um, uh, <laughs> video and I'm back with another route no I'm not back with another review right <laughs> if you are using your <laughs> I, I hope I float 500 degree yeah <laughs> my video and <laughs>